Hello, good evening. It is Olua Kemio Sege and it is Saturday, the 7th of December 2019. And I believe it is uh, about half past seven or 7.35 or thereabout in um, London time. And it's been a long time, it's been about, been about a month. Uh, I hope you've all been doing well. And I can see, you can see my face. It's just because I have a new toy from Amazon that allows me to video at the same time as showing my face. I hope you like my face. Anyways, uh, today I am going to be making Moi Moi. It's called Moi Moi in Yoruba language. However, but it is made from beans. That is beans paste, or you can call it a baked beans. So I've got moi moi to make today. As part of my ingredients, I have washed beans. I've washed, I've washed my beans. The beans, uh, some people use powdered beans, but I'm not a fan of that. Because anything that is uh, like I don't know what they blended with it, but I like to see the beans. So I've got um, uh, 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 I got the one that has already been peeled, but I washed it even more, and that's why you have it like this. And in this, with this bed, with, with this beans, I'm going to um, blend it into a very, very smooth, slightly watery paste. And together, I will be blending three tatashe. This is three long pepper. I have removed the. Um, this, I think it's called stem. You see it's the seeds and everything. Remove this, so that's why it's like that. And I've got um, about five hot butter peppers. That is hot pepper. And I've got two medium bulbs of onions in this. So that is my main um, um, blend dead ingredient that I'll be using to make the baked the, uh, baked beans or bean cake. To add to my bean baked beans or moi moi I'll be adding smoked um, fish it's been it's not smoked starch actually it's, it's smoked fish but I grilled it cleaned it boned it and then um, and that's why it's like that I'll be blending my beans with um, the head of smoked prawns that's smoked prawns I've removed separated the head from the body I'm going to be blending the head with my paste I've got salt to taste and I have got about four cubes or um, about four double cubes of um, no chicken seasoning. Uh, I may not use all of that depending on how I taste it and how it turns out to be. And I'll be obviously using um, oil. I'm using sunflower oil and I've got uh, the the containers or the foil containers to boil or bake my bean cakes in okay so that's all I need I believe that's all I need laid out and obviously I've got my blender to blend my stuff with okay so I'm now gonna go ahead and blend and I'll see you shortly hello we're back and our um, beans is all blended up we've now got um, blended beans with blended pepper blended attache blended onions and blended um, head of crayfish I mean head of prom, prawns or smoked prawns so I will now be adding my ingredients to this um, soft very smooth paste. First of all, I will be adding my mud cubes. Um, that's my mud cubes. I don't know if you can see. I'm still trying to get used to my so-called um, assistant cameraman or camera thingy thing. So I'm just going to get a spatula. To assist me with the turning, right? So I have this. I have my blended, all blended ingredients in there. So I'm now going to add my 
No chicken cubes. So I'm now going to add my no cubes. Adding my no cubes now. I've got a total of four double cubes being squeezed into these um, pastes. And then I'm going to add salt, about roughly um, just under one tablespoon full of salt. Yes, I love to season my food a lot because I love the taste. It's not my food doesn't turn out to be too salty or too much or taste to have too much seasoning. No, it doesn't. I gauge my ingredients or the quantity of my food in accordance with my ingredients. So when it it's done, the taste just right. I'm a very good cook, if I could say so myself. And then I'm now stirring to incorporate all the ingredients so that they're all blended in together and properly incorporated. So I'm stirring in everything, and in the process, I'm going to add this my smoked fish, macro fish to be precise. Yummy. I'm going to add this my smoked mackerel fish. Again, stirring until it's properly. The paste appears to be a bit thick. I'm going to add a bit of water to make it to, to thin it out a little bit because I don't want my moi moi or bean cake to come out too steep or too hard. I want it to come out tender, you know, tender and soft. I'm now going to add my sunflower oil or your vegetable oil if you so choose. Sometimes you could use palm oil. Some people use palm oil. In Nigeria, I know that um, the oil that's been commonly used in, in Nigeria where I grew up in London State and even the neighbors is palm oil because Mom oil tend to be red naturally, but I tend to cook mine here with um, sunflower vegetable oil. So I'm going to add again vegetable oil and stop when I feel that it's appropriate enough. Roughly about one cup. And then I will stir in together again to as much as possible incorporate the oil in this mixture so that everything is all blended together so. and whilst I'm doing that I'm going to place my pan or sorry my pot on the burner with a little bit of water that's the big pot where I'm going to put my uh, uh, moi moi after I place it in the foil so I'm going to put that now on the burner with a little bit of water I'm now going to check for taste now to see if it tastes just right and I will add more seasoning or salt if I feel there is a need to. I have a very strong taste bud, so um, I'm going to check for taste and then see how it goes. And I still think that it's still a little bit too thick. I'm still going to be adding a little bit of water to loosen it a bit. I've checked for taste and I feel that it still needs a bit more, little bit more seasoning. So I'm going to just add one teaspoon of um, chicken bouillon. Add a bit more water. I 
and then incorporate, stir with the aim of incorporating as best as you can. I know they say oil and water do not mix, but in this case, they have to try their best to mix. So, I think it's now loose to the way I want it to be loose. So it's so, it's now, it's a, 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 a proper texture. I desire it. So I'm now going to now start to divide them or distribute them into my foil plates or containers. My daughter will be assisting me with this. My daughter, if she's in the position to come and introduce herself, she's a bit, she's soaking a bit at the moment. She loves to suck, suck. Anytime I ask her to come to assist in the kitchen, sometimes she's excited and sometimes she soaks. And this is Emmanuel. That's the baby of the house. My little assistants that I have in this house. Hi. She's soaking. <laughs> so cat. Anyways, we're now going to start with the distribution of this lovely moi moi paste into a very little or medium sized um, foil containers. This is medium size. There's a, a, a small sized container and there is a medium size and there's a bigger one. If you order Chinese, you will know the difference because the Chinese um, restaurants tend to use it a lot. Um, okay, we'll now start with the distribution of these in these uh, containers. So to assist with that, I'm going to be using this, my very lovely ladle. Makes things easier, really. So I'm going to swap my spatula with this ladle. So my spatula is going to go in my sink. And I will start with the distribution or portioning of these amazing tasty uh, moi moi paste or beans paste each um, container will be filled will require at least two I mean at least three or at most actually at least two and at most three spoonfuls or three ladlefuls to uh, be sufficient to go so as you are dishing out you are sure that you're stirring because uh, if you don't you end up with some part of your moment being watery and some part being too thick so whilst we are, well, before we proceed to the filling up of the others, we need to cover this one first. So we're going to cover, the ladders have a cover like this. So, the, I'm mean, sorry, the um, uh, container, that's the foil container has a cover like this. Again, it's the inside is covered in foil. They all ensure that it doesn't stick together. So I am going to now cover them <coughs> like that and I hope you can see right I cover them like that and seal it up individually cover yeah like that seal it up individually So you're going to continue like that until you fill up all your um, kitchen for I mean sorry, um, foil containers, and until your very beautiful paste mix mixture is exhausted, right? 
so we are now putting that inside the uh, pot that we put the saucepan that we put on the burner earlier with a little bit of water in it to we're now putting our moi moi field or beans paste field um, foil containers inside that pot and make sure that when you're putting your water it's as little it is not you know you didn't put too much water in there so that when it's boiling it doesn't overflow the first batch at the bottom of the pot so it's, it's important that you ensure your water is as little as possible because what 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 would then happen is that as it as it boils you need to be keep checking so when when the water is drying out you'll be adding a little bit more water until the uh, momo is properly cooked so we'll still continue with our distribution of um, the paste in the foil paper or the foil container so we're now going to cover that with foil so now this is steam contained. I've had to use two different um, pots because all of them wouldn't, uh, didn't go in the first one. So we're now going to cover our pot or pot pan with foil and then to, um, to make to ensure that the, the, the heat is contained in the pot so to assist in the uh, cooking. Oh. This is steamy, top of steaming of the moi moi and the pink hey. It's hot, 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 hot. So, there you go. There you go. So we will come back as soon as our moi moi is um, cooked and properly done. Um, but at, in those, this should take about forty-five to one, uh, forty-five minutes to one hour. However, at, uh, uh, during that time, at intervals, you need to ensure that you're checking your moi moi. You're opening the pot to ensure that the water hasn't dried out. Otherwise, your moi moi will burn out. The water that is in there is not sufficient to cook the whole, to cook it in the in the entire time. We only put it bit by bit to, uh, so that the water uh, the water does not overflow uh, into the first uh, layers of uh, moi moi. So at intervals, it is important that you ensure you check your moi moi to ensure that the water is still there. And if there's no more water or there's little water left, you need to add a bit more water, a little at a time. All right. We'll come back as soon as um, our momo is properly done and see you then. Hello, we are back and our momo has been boiling or steaming for about an hour. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the course of that hour, I have changed up uh, refilled water about two times. So I brought out one um, momo from the pot, from one of the pots. It looks like it is uh, cooked, so I'm going to turn it out into the plate and show you. As you can see, it's so tender. Oops. As you can see, it's so tender. That's the way I like my morning. And when it cools, it's, it's, it's still very hot now. When it cools. It's going to be really, really. It's not going to be too hard because I remember when the rice is hot, it is soft, and then when it cools, it hardens up. But with the texture of this one, when it cools, it's not going to be hard. So this is where I love my mama, and it tastes amazing. Thank you for watching. If you love my video, please share, like, and subscribe. If you think there's something I did great please comment and if this is something that should have done better again i would appreciate your comment constructive criticism is very welcome thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend and god bless you